Hello and welcome to the first every once in a first annual once in a while uh, review of Thon the movie. It's, uh, this is going to be a long one, so let's get some drinks, some snacks. I have no snacks. Let's do this. Uh, there it is. Okay. Here's how we're going to decide this. Okay, so. Actually, review a thon take two, technically. As I did the first one. And deleted all the files. Uh, so we're doing this again. I'm just setting this up. You're going to get a little look at all the games we have. To review here. You have six. Okay. So we're going to actually utilize the bottle cap. Wasn't really supposed to take it off, but uh okay. That didn't work. Game number one, cross team race. I'll have a different way of picking the game each time. Uh, of course. Different way of picking the game each time. Uh, not. This is gonna be the only one involving the bottle. Okay. Okay. Crash Team Racing. <sighs> um. Where do I begin with this? So, this, in my opinion, is the best kart racer of all time. It is weighty, but not too heavy. It's cartoonish, but not to a, like, jarring degree. It has everyone you're going to recognize from the Crash Bandicoot universe and more. The... Driving mechanics are extremely tight, and the AI, just the game in general, while at times can be unforgiving and brutal, uh, can be a really good time if you get good. And like some people out there who play for six hours and never touch the game again because it's too hard, boo! Oh, it's a game. It's gonna, it's supposed to challenge you. Too bad. Be good at the game. <laughs> like by the looks of the guy. Not naming any names, except down in the description below. Uh, he looks like he's, <laughs> like, probably like 35, 40. Uh, and he's just bad. Complains. Wines and wines and wines. Don't mind the background noise. Uh, for this, for this review with on, our background noise is, er, background movie, that's a tradition in my reviews now, is epic. The end, because, again, I already did this. Got rid of the files. Mm. Pretty subpar anyway, so. Whatever. This is gonna be short, snappy reviews because I don't have that much storage. I need to get six mo six games done. Might do or might review Soul Book of Life. Don't know yet. Also, gonna do review of Brisk Ice Tea with Lemon, the Lemonade, and the Pink Lemonade. After. So yeah, as it, the microtransaction thing being added after all the reviews have already had already come out is extremely scummy. I will admit that. Um, then again, it's Activision. What were you expecting? The the one thing they're known for is exorbitant exorbitant amounts of money for stupid little cosmetics after the game's released. So yeah. 
but you get the adventure mode, you get the tight controls, you get, you get like 56 characters, if I remember correctly. Um, look at that, look, look at how great that looks. It's blurry. Um, focus, 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 come on. Well, you can see there. Game looks good. Looks good. Uh, let's really... I can say there's a lot of customization. The online is not the best, but still pretty good. This game does take quite a bit of skill. But if you master it, it's a real good time. Moving on! So this one is going to be the game toss-up. Which are one that wins... In my lap. I'm just curious that it can land in there tight. Okay. Okay. Heads Left 4 Dead 2. Tails. Black Ops Trilogy. Left 4 Dead 2. Um, give me that. Give me. That's for later. Okay. Left 4 Dead 2. Next game. Oh, yeah. Uh, 10 out of 10. Best racing game. Best, best out of 10. Best out of 10. Would play again. Would play again. Please play. Please play the game. Please. <laughs> um... Also, if any of you have an Xbox and have the game, I wouldn't mind a friend once I get my Wi-Fi back. I wouldn't mind a friend to play with. Um, okay. Left 4 Dead 2. Okay, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Noam Chompinski. But that's all I gotta say. This game is perfect. The characters are charming. The maps are creative and fun to play through. All the infected are unique and special. We've never seen them before, but they've been copied after. Left 4 Dead 1 wasn't as polished, but if you get the DLC pack for Left 4 Dead 2 with Left 4 Dead 1, look an angel's kiss. It's perfect. This is the perfect game. Shooting is tight, even though you can't aim, which I don't like not being able to aim in games. This one's fine. Um, I will say, can feel a little stiff at times. I really do like the momentum, where you won't start at your top speed, but it's a very quick acceleration. Step, 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 step. Go. You take, like, two steps, and you're at your full speed. Um, it also does take a second for your character to slow down. Um, which is nice detail. Um, <clears throat> it, Valve is known for making fantastic games. I will be covering Team Fortress 2 week after next. Um, so that'll be interesting. Um, y yeah, that's really it. There's good weapons, good balance between survivors and zone and infected. Uh, the versus mode's great. The all the mutations are pretty much perfect. Um, the only mode I have a problem with is the scavenge. It's lame. Gas can collecting, not fun. Wasn't fun the mall atrium. Not fun as its own mode. Okay. Now, for this one, we're gonna. Take this. Convenient blanket. South Park Fracture Butthole. Okay. Later. Fracture Butthole. Okay. This game. Uh, so, the story of this game is you're playing superheroes trying to get a cat to get money to further your superhero franchise. 
of course, in South Park. Now, you are the new kid on the block, and it's very interesting. You get to change how they look throughout the game, and at the start, they you can dress them up in hundreds of different outfits in any combination you could possibly want. There are infinite possibilities. Uh, now, now, one big thing is that, one big critique is there are certain characters that you can get that kind of just make the game too easy. Um, for instance, Super Craig. Here's, here's the game-breaking team. Super Craig, Mintberry Crunch, Mysterion, best team. Best team, 10 out of 10. Cannot be beaten. I, sh I swear on my mother. I swear on my mama. I ain't a religious bulb, I swear to God. Um, uh, so, what else? Story is, despite seeming incredibly simple, takes some very major turns, and you get to meet some pretty interesting people. Like Morgan Freeman. God himself, or Jesus himself. Um, <laughs> and the best one, Santa Claus. Y y you meet the actual Santa Claus in South Park. Um, it's cool. There's a lot of depth. You can be a transgender, gay, uh, I, I don't know, Asian? I don't know. There are a bunch of different races, so we'll just Asian. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of, basically, there's just a lot of customization, and it's really nice. It's a nice open world game, inspired by, um, wait, hold on. Critical error. One combat X has fallen out of the case. Critical error fixed. Continue with the review. Um... It, it's a good game. It's a good game. Uh, 8 out of 10, I prefer the Stick of Truth. This is really good. DLCs are fun. The main game's fun. There's a lot of references to the show. There's a lot of references to the movie. There's a lot of references to literally everything. Okay. So, for this one... I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna close my eyes. Toss these around. Okay. Um. Oh joy. I want. I would rather talk about. I would rather talk about any game other than this. This game is garbage. It's Skylanders in spaceships, but you have to, like, make colonies and stuff, and I don't know. I played, like, 20 minutes this game gave up. It's like a beat -em up in a, in a spaceship. Sounds cool. It's not. You have to pay for... You have to pay real money for... Little figures of weapons that you attach to your ship that is minted to your controller. Not fun. It's a bad game. You will spend half of your time wandering around wondering what you're supposed to do. The other half of the time figuring out how to do the thing that you're supposed to be doing. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that's really it. This game is garbage. Be gone. One out of time. Be gone out of ten. We're gonna call that. Uh, that's Call of Duty Tales and Justice Two. Dads again. Means whoop. Okay. Don't have much to say independently, so I'm gonna kind of like speak for all of them when I say this. Uh, so Call of Duty. You, I don't even have to give my opinion. You already know. Good games. Good games. Black Ops 1 being the worst. Uh, the multiplayer is unsatisfying. The game looks terrible. Although you do get to use the Python multiplayer, which 
pretty nifty. Um, <sighs> okay. Black Ops 1 is the best zombies maps. Black Ops 2 has basically nothing. Black Ops 3 has the best multiplayer maps. Now, best weapons black goes to Black Ops 2. Worst weapons goes to Black Ops 1. Best online goes to none of them. It's Call of Duty. In fact, you know what? I feel so strongly about this. Best online goes to CTR over there. It, it really does. It's it, The online is better than all these games. These games are just filled with hackers now. There's no point in the online. Funny anecdote. Over there, in the corner. I don't know if you can see it. Let's, let's try zooming in. Uh, you can probably see it even less now. That is a copy of Black Ops 3. The, this same one. I didn't realize that it wasn't backwards compatible with the Xbox One, so I got a copy. Uh, not really, not realizing it was the same as this because I want Black Ops 3. It was what I could afford. Uh, can't play it. So, it forever sits next to the door. Um, but I did get digitally. So, yeah. Honestly, there's not much to say beyond that. It's Call of Duty. You know. If you don't know, now you know, you know, you know, you know. Uh, that's really it. <laughs> Probably the shortest reveal. I'm not keeping track. And Injustice 2? Uh, no. It's Mortal Kombat. It's Water Down Mortal Kombat X with superheroes. There's not much to it, guys. It's just bad. It's just bad. Really bad. Really bad. It's really bad. Um. One of the biggest things. There's no gore. There's no finishers. There's no fatalities. Special moves aren't all that cool because, again, no gore. No deaths. There's no nothing. It's just... It really is just Watered Town MKX. But everything controls worse. Because there are different controls. But it's like the same type of thing. It's just bad. It's confusing. It's confusingly bad. You know, that's exactly what I want. I want I live by the rule. I would rather you serve me the most uniquely bad thing on earth. So that I have something to say about it. And then for you to give me the most bland game on earth. Isn't that right, Starlink? Yes, I'm still upset about that. I got it out five below for five bucks, and I'm still upset that I even bought that. <laughs> I mean, the ship was cool, so that's something. Uh, basically, yeah. Now, for the... First reviews. We're going to do an order of least favorite. Or worst to best. Worst. Pink Lemonade. It's not bad at all. It's pretty standard Pink Lemonade. It's just not as good as the normal Lemonade or the Iced Tea. Uh, oh yeah. 4 out of 10 because it has okay fighting mechanics. <laughs> Nothing to do with the lemonades. Um, pink lemonade? Mm, five, 7 out of 10. It's lemonade. Then we have lemonade. A slightly sweet take on lemonade. It's not bad. I prefer the more sour ones. Uh, overall, it does the sugary lemonade. Probably the best. It, um... Mm, 8 out of 10. Brisk is the second best tea I've ever had. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's a 10 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10. Uh, 10 out of 10 is Arizona Ar Arnold Palmer. Half lemonade. It's, it's delicious. It's perfect. Uh... Yeah, this is already 20 minutes long. I'm not going to go on about Soul. Not right now. I don't, I don't even have much to say about it. I need to rewatch it anyway. That's going to come next week, probably. 
along with the video of the surprise games I'm ordering. I mean, one of them I'm going to tell you outright is the orange box. Because I want to play Team Fortress 2. I, 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 I'm saying it's for the, for the channel, but it's not. I, I really just want an excuse to play TF2. I don't have a computer. I need to get the orange box to play TF2. I'm going to do that. Uh, you shut up. It's my show. I can do what I want. No, but seriously, I respect your guys' opinion. If you have a problem with that, uh, I, I still don't care if you have a problem with that, because I'll just not make the review about TF2. I'll make it about the Half-Life and Portal games instead. Sorry, guys. Got cut off by a low battery. Uh, basically, uh, yeah, that concludes this, the first annual Every Once in a While Review-a-thon. Uh, I know the videos were, I know it was subpar. I know it's not good. I know there's literally no editing on these videos because I'm lazy. Sorry. Um. But yeah. Also, detail I forgot to mention. I got, I got the, uh, Crash Team Racing Sock Bundle. It was cheaper, new. Than the pre-owned version of Crash Team Racing alone. So, yeah, bye.